This is relatively a common houseplant called Euphorbia milii. Now you may actually think this is a cacti given the amount of spines this has, but this is more like the cacti of Madagascar, though it's not a cacti. Euphorbia are often uh, equipped with these spines and have very cacti-like conditions, but they aren't considered a cactus. If you even look at these little things that look like flowers, these are actually technically called bracts. And in the center of the bract is actually this little inflorescence or flower. And these showy bracts are actually part of the reason why people buy these plants. And also part of the reason is to get the insects to pollinate this particular plant because their flower is so small. But I have one with red bracts and I have this one with yellow bracts and I've actually also seen these extremely popular all throughout Asia um, with different flowery and color, um, different colored bracts. Some of them are a little bit bigger than others. And I think that's part of the reason and the draw for, for people. One of the things I should say about Euphorbia first is that it does have this white latex. So if you actually break a spine or break a leaf or break something off of this particular plant, this white latex might get on your fingers. Do not rub your, your eye with the, this latex because it can be very damaging and will burn your eye and you will need to go to the hospital. So I wouldn't suggest actually propagating this plant unless you had the right kind of equipment and you were very comfortable around plants. And I, I mean, I've even talked to prof um, professionals who have gotten this in their eye. So I would say if you're a little bit hesitant, you don't wanna get poked or prodded with this particular plant, then maybe it's not for you. I have this kind of growing out of the way in my kitchen. I used to have this growing in my southwest facing window. It would be totally perfectly all right there because these can handle full sun, bright sun. But I'm actually growing in a much gentle light, um, much more gentler light in a northeast facing window. And, and what's also great about this is it always looks like it's flowering with the bracts. It's never not in flower. So if you want something with a little bit more color, then this is kind of nice even though it has all these kind of prickles and everything. So I guess it's kind of like the rose and the thorn, you know, if you will. As far as fertilizing goes, you could deal with a succulent or cacti fertilizer. So if you're doing this more on a bi-weekly basis, like a 247, a 277, a 055, if you're getting anywhere around that, um, that amount of fertilizer, then I think this plant will actually be totally fine. You are gonna to wanna to clean it off a little bit. You could see that it does get kind of these dead leaves or kind of retired bracts and inflorescences and you're gonna to want to actually, you know, get rid of those and, and keep it clean and keep it kempt. Otherwise, I think it's a really cool succulent and something that you might wanna try given the right conditions.